All right, we're going to start uh, another part, and this is going to be our stock part. So we'll just create a new part, and we'll enter the Sketcher Workbench with the XY plane, same as we did with the housing part. And we'll just use a rectangular toolbar and constrain the top dimension to be 7.25. Remember, our last one was 7 inches. This one we want to make a little bit bigger because it is our stock part. So our side dimension is going to be 4.25 inches. And we're going to center this, so this is going to be 2.125 inches. Whoops. That's actually going to be 3.625 inches. And now this dimension from the horizontal axis to the top is going to be 2.125 inches. That way we have a little extra room to work with. It's a bit bigger than our housing part. And the length, I'm going to uh, create a pad and the length is going to be 1 inch. Now the second limit for the length is going to be 0.2 inches. So again, we give us ourselves a little bit more thickness for the stock part. There's our part, and I'm going to rename it. And go to Properties and rename the part number to Stock 1. I'm going to rename the part body feature name to Stock 1. And then I'm going to save it as Stock 1 Cat Part save it. Now I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to go to a product structure and here I have product 1 and I'm going to uh, import some existing components specifically the stock 1 and the housing 1 cat parts and notice I've brought those into the product 1 and if I unhide stock one, I show the housing one. So I'm going to show that again. And I just want to rename this part product part number to housing dot one. And I'm going to save this as housing one dot cat part cat product. and get rid of the space. Now what I want to do is enter the prismatic machining workbench and notice that uh, it creates a structure here. We have a resource list, and we have my housing, my product list with my parts and we have a part operation with a manufacturing program which all consists in the process list. And I want to make sure that uh, my units, if we go down, I want to make sure my, that my, I have my feed rate as inches per minute and angular And then I want to make sure that my other units are 